Love you. She just woke up, so she's gonna be very sucky, which might make it hard to talk to you. Hi, you're a clever girl. So if you've been following me on YouTube since, you know, like Ava was born, you would know that around two months, when she was two months old or three months, I tried starting her on formula and you would know that that didn't work and I kind of just had to give up. She was only, she was very strictly breastfed, not even in, in bottles. She wouldn't take bottles at all, which made it very hard on me being a teenager. Like I was still trying to live a teenager life and I can't, no one can watch my baby for me while I do anything or even sleep because she's only breastfed. But you know, I was committed to doing that. I know breast is best, like that's what you want for your baby. I'm not gonna sit here and tell you if you're not breastfeeding like you're a bad mum because you're not. If you can't breastfeed, if you've chosen not to, that's your choice and there's nothing, <laughs> there's nothing anyone can do about it. No one can force you to produce milk out of your boobies and feed it to your baby. Like if you don't wanna do that, you can't do that. You, you just don't do it. So when she started refusing bottles and formula and everything, I just gave up. My mum was like, stop trying to force it on her. Like, she doesn't want it. She's not going to take it. There's nothing you can do about it. And I was like, yep, you're right. I won't try anymore. Then about two months ago, Ava was probably almost nine months, I'd say. And my friend my friend and her mum had, had Ava for the afternoon so that I could go back to sleep. And I gave them... A bottle when I went to pick her up they're like hey she actually drank this bottle. I was like that is so awesome I might try her again tonight on it so I did and it took her some getting used to because she will drink it in bits like she won't sit there and drink the whole bottle at once she drinks little little bits at a time so that's what was the tricky part but eventually she started taking them like like really good and that night I refused to give her any breasts during the night she still had a lot of overnight fees and she still does now when she wakes up, I don't know how to get her back to sleep other than giving her a drink and sometimes it's bottle. Sometimes I just put her on the boob and that's something I'm trying to work on. <laughs> You're so funny. So yeah, that night I refused to give her any boob and it took me about an hour to put her back to sleep without giving her anything to drink. But she finally went back to sleep and I was like, now that I know she can go overnight without feeds, I'm going to start doing this more often. I was like, I'm going to start doing this more often and not giving her anything to eat during the night. She needs to learn. She needs to go back to sleep. Like I'm sick of not waking. I mean, I'm sick of not sleeping. I was so sick of waking up every two hours in the night, sometimes every hour. Like it was consistent all the time. That's just how she slept. And that's the main reason that I stopped breastfeeding. Not altogether, obviously, like I said. But that's the main reason I stopped breastfeeding during the day and overnight. Because it's just so much hard work. It is a really big commitment. You can't really give your baby to anyone else if you're tired or if you want to do something. They can't go into daycare if you're still breastfeeding, if they don't take bottles. There's just, you're so restricted. And that's what I hated the most. Not because I wanted to drink alcohol, not because I wanted to drink coffee, even though now I do make the most of being allowed to drink coffee. Like I just couldn't go anywhere without her. I couldn't do anything by myself because she always needed to be fed. And I was, I was her feeder. Like that no one else could feed her. So her father couldn't really bond with her in that way. No one else could really do anything for her because she just needed to be breastfed. Switching to bottles has been one of the best things I've ever done. Um, mainly because she started sleeping a lot better at night. She hasn't been lately. I think it's because she's got teeth coming through. But when I first switched to bottles, she was sleeping for like nine hours at a time. And I'd give her another bottle, she'd go straight back to sleep. And it was just, it's so refreshing to have that extra sleep under my, in my head. Like I just, I feel so much better. Now that she's on bottles, if I need a break, she can go to my friend for the afternoon or the whole day. Like... I'm not restricted to that anymore because she takes bottles. She's hungry. She just needs to make her a drink. The only cons are that I have to wash all the bottles. I have to make all the bottles up and like you have to sanitize everything. And buying the formula is pretty expensive. It's at least $20 a tin, like $20 is the cheapest one. I get the cheapest one because that's just what she started drinking. And I'm like, I'm not going to risk switching it in case she doesn't like any others because then I have to start all over again. And it is kind of a selfish decision because you want the best for your baby for as long as possible. But I'm just so like, I went to her six month needle appointment and the lady there was saying that i need to try and stop the nighttime feeding so i don't make her as dependent on things and that's what i was trying to do and she said at any point like 
if you are happy to keep doing this every night, if you're happy to not get any sleep, that's your call. But if you want to stop, like come in, we'll help you, we'll do all this stuff with you. And I was like, you know what, I'm just switching to bottles. I just, I need to switch bottles. I'm getting really cold, like I've got goosebumps up my arms. <laughs> and she was right, I was so sick of it. And it's probably one of the best decisions I have made because now James can feed her sometimes if he wants to. My parents can feed her sometimes. <laughs> when I was staying at my parents' house, they could feed her. She can spend time away from me and I, I don't have to be worried that I'm going to have to go get her in a couple of hours because she's going to need a feed. Like my friend could only ever have her for an hour or so at a time before she needed to come back because she was hysterical wanting some drink. So it may seem very selfish, but it was one of the best things I ever did. And breastfeeding isn't for everyone. I was just speaking to a girl who said that she hated breastfeeding and I didn't really ask why, but you know, people are allowed to not like breastfeeding. I'm thinking her reasoning was because she runs a shop and she wants to go back to work, but she has to run that shop because she owns it and stuff. And you can't have your baby in the shop all the time breastfeeding her whenever she needs to be fed. It's just, they're so dependent on you. And sometimes you just don't want that, which that sounds really bad. Like you don't want to be a parent, but that's not what I mean. I'm just saying it takes a tribe, a village, whatever the saying is, it takes a village to raise a baby. And if you're breastfeeding, then you're the only person that's raising that baby. Breastfeeding is so much fun. You share such a connection. The convenience is so good, but it's also a lot of hard work. Like you have to be eating properly. You have to be drinking properly. There are so many things you can't eat, so many things you can't drink. If I ever had spicy foods, it would go straight through Ava and she would have a sore bum for the next few days. Like you have to watch everything you're doing. You have to watch everything you're drinking, everything you're eating. And then if there's a problem with your baby, it could be because of you as well and you have to sort all of that out and it's just so complicated. There does come a point when you get sick of it and you're like, I don't want to do this anymore. It's taking a huge toll on me. I was actually starting to become very depressed as well because Ava was always attached to me like all the time and every time she'd want to drink, I'd be like, why? Why do I have to do this? Why is she always on me? Like I felt like we were attached all the time. Now we can spend some time apart and it's great for the both of us. We shouldn't be together 24 seven, you know? Say hello, don't touch, but say hello. 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 No, I love you. <laughs> you are so cute. I feel like she's getting more nutrients from drinking formula anyway because my diet was terrible. I never ate the best and I... Maybe that's why she wasn't sleeping great, but I didn't eat very good at all. And I was giving her all of the junk that I was eating. Now it's only my body that isn't being very healthy compared to the both of us. It's such a huge responsibility to breastfeed. And I loved it at first, even though around three weeks, my nipples were like broken. They were so sore. I couldn't even shower without it stinging. It was such a painful experience the first few weeks. After that, I loved it. It was so much fun. And then a few months later, I was like, this is taking a really big toll on me. I think it's time I don't do this anymore. And I was also, I'm going back to work this month actually. And I was so nervous and anxious about, I was like, it's getting closer, it's getting closer. What if she's not on bottles by then? I can't be there to feed her. My boobs are gonna be leaking everywhere at work. How embarrassing, I can't be there to feed her and, all I really wanted was for her to take bottles. I didn't even care if it was formula she was taking from them or breast milk. I just needed her to take bottles. So I'm really glad that formula was invented. Like fed is best. You're, it's best for your baby to be fed. And we you can't deny the science behind breast milk being so much better for your baby. But if you can't breastfeed or you just don't want to anymore, then that's your choice. And it's your baby. So it's only your baby that's being affected. It's your choice. Anyway, I just wanted to clear some of that up because a lot of people try to ask me why I'm not breastfeeding anymore or if I still am. And I get embarrassed when people ask me that and I have to say no. I go to a mum's mum's group where a couple of the mums are breastfeeding and I just feel ashamed that I'm not doing it anymore and I feel like I'm being looked down upon because I'm so much younger than all of them. And it's like, oh, you're, you're just this young girl who doesn't want to breastfeed so she can party. It's like, it's not like that. I'm not even allowed to drink alcohol yet. Not for another few months at least. I feel proud of myself to have breastfed for that long and I still am breastfeeding, just not exclusively. I am proud of myself for having done that for as long as I have and I just need to keep remembering that I did what I could. I've done as much as I could handle and now we're still finding other ways to bond. We're finding other ways to grow together and it's, it's really beautiful, honestly it is. If you can breastfeed then good on you, good job, but if you can't, that's fine too. 
at the end of the day it comes down to your personal preferences and your personal reasons and your situation and I just didn't want to do it anymore I couldn't do it anymore uh, uh. so that's why I stopped breastfeeding thank you for watching if you enjoyed the video please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe down below I will see you next time are you going to say bye? Are you going to say bye? Say bye. Nope. Okay, bye. <laughs>